Welcome to Fit X10 Level 2. We will be working at a higher intensity today that's going to challenge your body and your muscles even more. No equipment's necessary. Each exercise is 45 seconds with a short break in between. Now let's get started with the first exercise, which is a squat jump. So stand with your feet hip width apart, we're going to lower down and using the movement of your arms, we're going to push off the floor and jump up. So use your hands as a momentum to propel yourself off the floor. Doing great. So find strength in your quads. I can feel my quads burn. In three, two, one. So we're gonna get back to your recovery. We're gonna stay breathing. And we're gonna go down to the next workout, which is a push-up. So hands wider than the mat, feet apart. And we're just gonna lower the upper body towards the mat. So this is a total upper body workout with a bit of core strength. Doing great. We've got less than 10 seconds. So every time you exhale, you're gonna push away from the floor and recovery. So you're going to breathe in deep and exhale. We're going to go straight into the next workout, which is a reverse lunge and a twist. You're going to take a huge step back, lower your body down and twist towards your left. Come back up to a standing position and switch legs. You will feel a lot on your core as well as your obliques and the glutes. So you're going to twist deeply from your waist using the strength of your core to assist you in balancing as you lunge back. I am feeling the burn on my quads now. I'm gonna go back to your recovery. Okay, in the next workout, we're gonna go down to your mat, into your plank position, and we're just gonna tap the feet to the side. So keeping your hips as still as possible and your back in a straight line. This will challenge your core a lot more than holding on to a plank. You're gonna keep tapping. And we're back to our recovery. Slow down and keep breathing. And in the next workout will be a mountain climber. So get into a high plank position. We're just going to bring one knee to the front and extend the leg to the back. How fast or how slow? It's depending on your level. So we're going to kick and bring the knees as close to the chest as possible. This is a cardio, a core, and a shoulder workout. So 15 more seconds in a mountain climber. And you're gonna stay breathing and bring the chest right between 
your palms. In three, two, one. Back to your recovery job. And then we're going to move on to another cardio workout, which is called the skater hops. So you're going to swing, tap, tap. So brace your core for this and you can use your arms as a momentum to push, push your feet back, tap. So you can go fast or slow in this workout. So you're going to breathe deep. We've got 15 more seconds. Doing great. Five more. Stay with me. In three, two, one. Back to your recovery job. Your heart rate will be really high. We're going to stay breathing and move on to the next workout, which is a high plank. So go to your high plank and we're going to tap, tap. So you're going to feel a lot more on your shoulders as well as your core. So you brace that belly and make sure that the hips stay low at all times. Shoulder is still right above the wrist and hips low. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And back to your recovery. I'm gonna stay jogging and bring the heart rate back down. I'm gonna go down into our toe touch. Lie down on your back, bring your feet perpendicular up, and you're just going to reach for the toes. You can keep a slight bend if you're feeling tight in the hamstring. Otherwise, straighten your legs completely and you're going to keep crunching and feel the core burn. Exhale as you come up, inhale as you go down. You're going to stay with me. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. You're going to come back up and go into our recovery job. As we move back down to the mat for the second last workout, which is a super bed. So you're going to lie down on your belly, feet and hands apart. And you're going to lower your body down and push it back up. So make sure that you lift your thighs as far off the ground as you can. This is a great workout for the back, your glutes, the hamstring, as well as your shoulders. So inhale as you go down, exhale as you come up. And back to your recovery. And we're going to go into the last workout, which is a bit of a cardio workout. And down we go. We're going to jump back, jump forward, and come out. Jump back, jump forward, and stand up. So we're going to keep repeating this, tightening up the core. Every time you jump back and you step forward. So make sure that the knees is bent as you come down into a squat and jump back. That's it, we're almost there guys. Let's squeeze in one more rep 
and then we're done. That was fantastic. Awesome effort, everyone. I'll see you at level three for maximum calorie burn.